Hello everyone, today we're going to continue discussing the LTX Video AI model. Previously, we talked about the AI video models from LTX. They've created pretty decent models that can generate locally on consumer PCs very fast, able to do image to video and text to video as well. It's day one officially supported in ComfyUI and we're going to check out how we can use LTX videos and instead of image to video, do video to video. You can have an existing video like this, short clips, and transform it into other styles. We can change objects, for example, transform this woman into a ghost or into anime styles. And how can we transform a woman like this? A lot of you have used videos to create AI influencers. How can we make something like that as well? Also, how can we turn a dancer into a ghost? Stay tuned and we'll dive into this right now. LTX Video AI models launched last week and we covered image to video and text to video two days ago. You can download their model weights on their hugging face. You can also download it in Comfy UI. Here I have the Comfy UI workflow versions ready. As you can see, these are the safe tensor files for the LTX videos to billion size parameters. We're going to use the FP16, the T5 FP16 clip loader where we have that connected and broadcast to other groups. The next thing we'll need for video to video in our tutorial today is the original source video. I have one of the stock videos of a woman talking on the phone in a coffee shop. I want to animate this from realistic style to anime style. Then we'll need, of course, the image resize for each image frame from the video back to the LTX videos required dimension size. Here we have the load video. One more thing to remember is that the frame load cap needs to be set to the numbers you want and skip frames if necessary. If you want to skip from the first part or start from the middle of the video clip, we have the very large box here. This is for our text prompts because LTX videos require pretty long descriptive text prompts to generate good results. I put that in here. And like my other recent workflows for AI video styles, I'm also putting the control panel like groups on top. So it's easier to access everything configured on top and then just click generate to see the result on the bottom. Here I've set the sampling steps higher than what we normally use. Usually we set it to 30 steps for the sampling size in image or videos. But I found that LTX videos can perform better quality in terms of coloration when we set the sampling steps higher these sampling step numbers are going to control the unsampling steps and the resampling steps here. As we have the numbers of steps, we pass the numbers to the scheduler as well as the scheduler for unsampler. For video to video in AI video models, we'll most likely see a lot of unsampling and resampling terms in the video to video world. It's not going to be like how we used to do in animate diff, where we just use control net to control the movement and motions of the source videos, then pass through the animated AI motion models to recreate those motions using our reference styles. In AI models, especially now in the diffusion transformer models, we're going to mostly use unsampling steps and resample again. You can think of the unsampling groups here like what you used to have for control net. You copy the movement of your source reference videos and pass that latent image data to another step, which is resampling those steps or the image latent data. Then we use the text prompt to restyle what we want in the generated result. Here, as you can see, it's a very familiar style format. This is the RF inversion using the same method for video to video in Mochi and Cloud Video X that we saw previously in other videos where I talked about AI videos doing video to video styles using RF inversions. Here we have the forward sampler, which is like building again, breaking down all the building steps and elements we are going to transform to original noise. We're not going to add any noise in these steps. Instead, we're passing those latent data and the unsampling latent to our next steps in the resampling groups here, or what we just call the sampling groups. As you can see, the unsampling latent will pass to the scheduler and sampler customs. Why do we need sampler custom instead of a simple case sampler? Because we need the sigma and custom sampler nodes to control the sampling method. 
Here we have the sampling method for resampler using the RF inversions reverse sampler. That means we're going to use those latent noise from the original image frames, make those from the VAE encoding, and pass those latent data to this reverse. It will transform using the unsampling latent and the initial image frames from the source video's latent data. We'll convert one time in the sampler customs to do style transfer or transform any objects you want in the output generated videos. So this is a very practical way of using video to video in AI models. Right now, we're based on each image frame's movement and pose on other objects. We're going to pass all that data and build it again in the resampling groups. I got the cartoon anime style of this woman talking on the phone in the coffee shop. It's like 2D art painting styles where you have unique styles compared to what we have using raw camera footage, like in the reference videos here. You can also transform other forms of objects. For example, I did one example before where I used Lisa's dance short clips and transformed the studio and the main dancer object itself into a ghost dancing, walking scarily with fire going on. Instead of transforming those studio lights in the background, I transformed them into fireplaces. So that's something like this result we can see here. Yeah, it looks kind of weird and scary, but these are experiments of what I tried to do, totally changing how the dancers look. We'll try some examples like that in these videos. We also have other style transfers using video to video like this to change the character. For example, we have a woman here, and then we transform using the same pose and image structure. As you can see, we still have the house architecture appearing in the background. But then we completely transform the woman into another outfit and totally different woman. Of course, the size ratio sometimes looks different. For example, I did another transformation where I used text prompts to transform into a monkey singing. The AI tried to transform the character into a monkey, so you see the face starting to look like an ape. During my testing and experiments with the video-to-video -video method at recording time, I was setting pretty low sampling steps. Then I realized we need higher sampling steps to make more difference in the objects. Here's another example where I totally transformed a woman taking a selfie on the beach. We made blonde hair and changed the look of the face. This face wasn't using face swap or anything. It was just generated by the AI video itself. All the poses and background environment remained unchanged as I didn't edit any text prompts, so she's still on the beach taking a selfie. I emphasized changing the outfit, so you see the color differences at the beginning. For transformations like this one, it's something I like to do when using video-to-video -video methods. Even back with LMA diff using SD 1.5 or SDXL, we could mask objects and transform them into other styles using iPadapter. Now we can simplify those concepts using unsampling and resampling. Because diffusion transformer models perform better than UNET models, you can just use text prompts. Maybe later we'll get something like an IP adapter. I like to do style transfers as well. Let's try some examples here. Before that, this is the example I just did for the woman, anime cartoon styles from this woman talking on the phone video clip. We're going to do some examples in realistic styles and other forms of styles as well. Here's what I did for one example. I had a graphic designer in the room doing computer graphic design footage and I transformed it into a futuristic style. The computer transformed into an AI computer operating a spaceship traveling in space. That's another form of video like that. Now we're talking about AGI, where computers are smart enough in the future to operate spaceships autonomously. Therefore, we don't need a guide to control the system, it will autonomously operate the spaceship. We got some futuristic styles of these scenes. I also got another result trying with other seed numbers, and I got these styles as well. It looks pretty cool. We're able to transform into styles like this. It's all based on how you want to be creative. There are no rules for managing how you do the prompt or what step numbers you use. For this futuristic spaceship generation, I set higher step numbers. As you can see, I set it to 100 steps. Most people won't use 100 steps in their image sampling steps, 
but in LTX, I found it can go up to 50 or 100, sometimes even 150 or 200 steps isn't a problem. The sampling times are about the same as with other sampling steps timing, so 100 steps for sampling and resampling takes 14 seconds, 28 seconds, and 27 seconds. You can see the comparison between 50 steps and 100 steps is about the same. If we're chasing quality, why not set higher numbers and wait just a minute? I think it's not a big deal to wait about one minute or half a minute to generate videos with better quality, better coloration, sharper. If you have a clear reference video clip, let's try another one with a close-up shot of a character. Let's see how this AI video performs for human anatomy and hyper-realistic styles. We have another generation here with an example of a close-up shot of a woman showing all the wrinkles and a sad face. I imagine changing this woman into an old lady having a sad moment because she went to the casino and lost all her money. Here's my prompt. I did that using hyper-realistic styles. Since AI videos with small parameter size models can't generate ultra-realistic or realism styles, I used one here where I have an old lady and transformed it into cross instead of using a white background with some light straps in the background. It feels like in the casino with all the lights going on. I did other examples and by the way, this one uses 50 sampling steps. So 50 sampling steps look like this. If I use 100 sampling steps, it changes even more. We have the same motions, the head going up and down like this, crying sad motions on the face, wrinkles and all this stuff. We got even more different lights in the backgrounds representing another place, not just a white background like the reference video. That's how we did that. Using even higher sampling steps is not going to be a problem in LTX videos model, and we are able to base it on any creative prompts. We can change the videos, the styles, and even the objects or characters on the screen. Okay, so I picked another video clip for an example. Here, I will do animated styles. This time, I'm using a clip of a woman using a laptop and tablet for writing. We got a text prompt here. We will turn this woman into a witch and she will be doing magic spells on the table. We are going to transform the character's outfit and clothing. Also, the background won't be in this modern house style. We are going to change that into a dark castle. Let's see the result here. The pose and composition of the character are very similar in the left area where one hand is on the table. But here, I transformed the outfit style, color, and the hair color, which are totally different. There's some slight difference in the face direction as well. She's looking at the table instead of looking at the right side of the laptop area from the reference video. But we can use this composition from the source reference video. We can make animated styles like this. For this animated style video clip, I was trying 25 steps. As you can see, when I use lower steps in LTX videos, these steps will cause some shaking or deformations in some objects when I use 25 steps or lower. But when I use 100 steps, that's going to be different. Look at this. I'm using the same prompt, the witch. Red color dress, red color hat, blonde color hair. And you see the whole thing, even the face and all the backgrounds here. Although it's in low resolution, we can see the fast motions, shaking papers, and other elements. We can see that. The last seconds here start to show deformations, but it's okay. We can cut that if we have to use that clip. In the first one or two seconds, you see that even in 2D animated style. It's very clear to see the quality difference between this and this one. So that's it for this video. And also, I forgot to mention where you get all these prompts, the custom nodes. The custom nodes are going to be in GitHub. It's called Comfy UILTX Tricks. This GitHub will allow you to do more customization control in using LTX video. And again, when you use LTX video, remember to update Comfy UI to the latest version. Otherwise, it won't work with the checkpoint models or the native Comfy UI nodes. As you can see in this LTX conditioning, it is from the Fox logo, which is a, a comfy UI node that comes by default with the latest update package, as well as the scheduler and the Flip Sigma. 
and then we need the updated versions and the LTX tricks custom nodes to do the RF inversion for unsampling and resampling. The good thing is that once you update Comfa UI to the latest version, this custom node doesn't have any requirement.txt or additional installations that you need. So what you can do is just download this into your custom nodes folder and then it will allow you to use that. And there are some other example workflows you can find here where it is able to do things like this one, object transforming, which turns a boy's face into a cat face. Things like that can be done with no problems in the LTX video model. So yes, that's it for this video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Have a nice day. See ya.